Welcome back. Let's go! Ah! Ed Nitty coming back at you with another episode of The Silver and Blue. How do we do it? All day, every day. Right. So, topic for today. Is Dak Prescott the comeback player of the year? Yep. All right, I guess that's video. <laughs> um, no, I mean, it's interesting. I mean, it's, of course, he would likely be in the favored or in the people you would assume, but mm -hmm. it's funny to even mention it because there is a lot of stiff competition this year for comeback player of the year. I agree. I was actually shocked when I started doing a little research. It was mm -hmm. a lot more than I expected. Well, yeah. And, you know, some of the big names that he is going to have to compete against is Saquon Barkley. You right. Know. Odell Beckham Jr., I think we talked about it. Both Saquon and Odell, assuming they get through the season healthy. Yeah. I mean, that's the whole problem with those guys. They're, I hate to say it because I don't like them, but they're both really, really good. Saquon was an all-league type player. Same with Odell at yeah. his very best, yeah. And Absolutely. some other notable players too. Christian McCaffrey on the uh, Panthers. He had a spurt where he was injured for a while. Oh, he missed 13 games last year. Yeah. Parts of 13 games uh, with multiple injuries too. He had leg, shoulder. He's as good as it gets at the running back position though. So I oh, agree. Yeah. He's going to be a real strong candidate for comeback player of the year as well. Mm -hmm. With a lot of those big names, and we got a little bit more coming up, why would you say for sure Dak would be comeback player of the year? We saw what he did in the first four and a half games oh, yeah. before he got hurt, and that was basically without a line. I mean, he was missing two, you know, pro bowlers, basically. You know, under the assumption that the line is going to be back healthy, and that's how all these discussions have to go, there is no reason Dak won't continue to light it up like he has been. Will he throw for 7,000 yards like the pace he was on? No, of course not. But he's going to hit five. He's yeah. going to hit five easy. If he stays healthy, he'll hit five. Considering he has three receivers that are likely going to get over 1,000 yards this season. There's 17 games this year. Oh, I'll, yeah. I'll bet you my left, well, yours anyway, uh, that he'll hit 5,000 yards this year. Yeah, I, I would completely agree with that. And, you know, just on a comparative level too, I think what might give Dak the edge in being comeback player of the year is that he's a quarterback. The league, the yeah. media, everybody's oh, enamored media. with quarterbacks. And that's like the most popular yeah. position to latch your hooks onto and be like, that's our guy. That's exactly right. Especially Cowboys too. Cowboys are, you know, not media darlings, but spark plugs. And if they can say Dallas Cowboys on their telecast, it's gonna always bump it up a few notches. So oh, yeah. that's a huge point and you're right. And quarterbacks in particular, they always, always seem to have an edge. They take the blame when it's bad, but they get the credit when it's good. Nick Bosa is another great candidate oh, for it, yeah. by the way. He's gonna have a great year, assuming he stays healthy as well. But again, he's a defensive guy. Mm -hmm. He'll have to have like, you know, Hall of Fame numbers. 12 to 15 defense. sacks to even be considered. Yeah. yeah. I think the odds of Dak having a 5,000 yard season are better than Nick Bosa having a 12 sack season. And if they both do that, mm -hmm. Dak's still going to win. No, I agree with defensive players. It is a lot more difficult unless you're like top of the league MVP voting. <laughs> Funny enough, another player who's been tossed around because that's the annual wild card is J.J. Watt. You know, even late into his career, getting put yeah. on a much better Arizona team. They're like, could he be comeback player of the year? But you maybe know. he could be comeback player of the team, right? But just yeah, he J.J. Watt's also been out of the game like at an impact level for a few years now, and due to a lot of injuries, I think he'll be solid too. But I don't think he'll be comeback player of the year. Yeah, and there are other quarterbacks out there too that I think could be comeback player of the year. What about Sam Darnold? <laughs> Sam Darnold can't be comeback player of the year because you can't come back to something that you never were. Okay, oh. <laughs> if you were never really good, you can't come back to being really good. Now he may yeah. he may have a great year and become really good, but it's not a comeback to it. So yeah, that's and a no go. With the Panthers too, don't think they're gonna give him enough of a supporting cast yeah. to be great. Another one that I was thinking about, Carson Wentz. I think just due yeah. to how horrible he was last year, he might even have a chance to be comeback player of the year. It is possible, and I love to clown Carson Wentz. Other than one year, he's always just been mediocre or worse. But I do think that he has a chance to do well in Indianapolis. Uh, Frank the Third Reich <laughs> is the quarterback whisperer, and yeah. if he can get him you know, to the place 
place where he believes he can be, maybe he's a candidate for comeback player of the year. But that's assuming that Dak either gets injured or just has a horrible year. And yeah. I can't see it happen. Carson Likely Wentz not. doesn't have a CD Lamb. He doesn't have an Amari Cooper. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have a Michael Gallup. He does have a solid line and he does have a solid defense, but he doesn't have the same weapons, I think, as Dak does. To be honest with you, there are very few teams that do. That's why I'm so excited about the Cowboys this year. Yeah. I say that every year, I know. I would say maybe outside of the Vikings, yeah, not as many teams yeah. have that many offensive weapons. Which again, it's amazing that someone like Kirk Cousins wouldn't be putting up the same kind of numbers as Dak. Thielen, Jefferson, yeah, Dalvin yeah. Cook. Jeez, I know, right? Yeah. He should be lighting it up a lot more than he does. Yeah. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Who would you put as the comeback player of the year? Who might be your favorite? Would you take the over on Dak? Maybe the under and pick someone else? Let us know what you think in the comments. And if you like the video, hit that like button because every time you do, an Eagles fan cries. All right, everybody. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time. Ed and Eddie heading out.